Hey guys, what is going on? Sherman here. And I have a tutorial video for you guys today. <clears throat> now, I was really kind of hesitant to do one of these kind of videos because there are already so many tutorials on this subject, and that is the paracord lanyards. Uh, today we're going to be talking about specifically the quote-unquote DNA knot style. Now, I don't know if that, <clears throat> if I'm stealing somebody else's idea. I've just been hearing people call it the DNA style lanyard for a long time. But technically it's known as a spiral senate knot. Because, you know, that there's the cobra stitch and it's technically called the senate. Um, or the Solomon's bar. Whatever you want to call it. You know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm just going to refer to it as the DNA style lanyard. Why? Well, because it looks like a little strand of DNA. So it's pretty cool. But anyway, this has probably been my most requested video of all time. Um, for the past month, every video I've had the same person request the video, <clears throat> and that is XO Billy Joe for XO. Clearly a Green Day fan. Nothing wrong with that. Old Green Day was actually pretty good. Just saying. Doesn't have anything to do with this video. But so, uh, you know, thank you for the request, and uh, here's your video. So. It's really not hard to do at all, but it really does look cool. It's got black and lime green. Here's one that I used to have on my keys. And here's one that I practiced with back in the day. <clears throat> it's harder to do it with two colors. There's a very specific way you have to do it so that it looks more consistent and not so random. Today we're going to be talking about single color because it's just easier and better for the demonstration. So you get your cord. You're going to need a lighter and something to cut your cord with. I'll be using my military. So like I said, it's really easy, it just looks more complicated than it is, but if you can do a cobra stitch, then you can do this very easily. But I'm going to go about it as if this is somebody's first time ever doing a paracord project. So, you're going to take one strand of paracord, and you're going to make it kind of long because you can always take off some, but you can never add. Well, you can, but it's not going to look right. So get a fairly long piece. Judge how far you want or how long you want the piece to be that's going to go around your knife or your keys. Um, this is usually the standard length that I have, so I'm just going to use that as a guide basically. You want to kind of pinch it and just kind of mark it. Uh, you can take uh, some of those chip clips or, or something like that just to kind of clamp that off or maybe a paper clip, something like that. Get your, uh, your second strand of cord. I'm going to use a kind of a shorter piece here. I'm just going to take some green. All right, you're going to take your, you're gonna take your, um, your strand that's going to go on your keys or your knife, your tether strand, I guess you could call it. Drag that down to about where you want it. That's where you're going to start your knot. You're going to want to pinch this, by the way. What I mean by that is take both ends and just find the middle so that you get a you get even sides or even length on either side. All right, I'm just gonna bring it over like that. All right, you can start either way. I always start from left to right. Doesn't really matter which side you start with. What you're gonna do, and you do the same thing when you make a cobra stitch. But here's where it's. I'm gonna show you where it's different. All right, take the left side bring it over this black strand right here so you have kind of a like a C shape you know take your other end <clears throat> bring it over the strand that you just pulled forward up under your black strand right here and pull it through this little opening right here it's gonna look like this okay I'm gonna straighten it out before you tighten it it looks good Go ahead and cinch it up. It's gonna look like it's gonna look just like that. Now here is where you can adjust. Now now that you know you have this area and it's not gonna fall apart, here's where you can adjust how long you want this by just grabbing this kind of like a necktie and just adjusting this at will. Just find where you want or how much uh, excess you want over here. And just pull it tight. Now, <clears throat> if you are making a cobra stitch like this. The side where you see this knot right here, this little strand, that's where you're going to make your next loop. And then you do the same process, and you just alternate from left to right, left to right. 
if uh, when making a spi uh, making the spiral senate or DNA knot, you're going to just repeat the process on the same exact side. So now, remember how we brought the left over to the right side? You're just going to keep doing that. Or if you started on the right side, just keep doing that. You're going to continuously do the same knot from the same side that you started with. Okay? So you're just going to keep doing that. And like I said, you want to kind of look at your work and adjust it if you, know, you think you messed up or whatever before you tighten it. So I keep going from left to right, from left to right. Reminds me of that song, from left to right. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop singing. Keep doing that. I should have gotten a longer strand of cord so that you guys can see you know, the entire thing. But I'm just showing you basically the gist of it. So you keep doing it, and as you keep going, it's going to start forming a spiral. Can't work with it very much longer because I'm uh, running out of cord. You could stop here and just make a tiny little fob. But yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Very, very simple. Like I said, it looks very, very elegant. Like, it looks a lot more difficult than it really is. And um, here's what it's going to look like with, you know, when, once you're finished. Or however long you want to make it. This is my preferred length for, the, for a key lanyard. I just got that skull bead on there. I got it at a gun show. Now, the reason I prefer to make this style as opposed to just a regular Cobra is because it looks cooler. It, it really does. It looks really cool. Um, and I find it easier to grab onto. because Those ridges, you know, they kind of get in your hands and it's just easier to extract uh, your keys or your knife from your pocket, in my personal opinion. And it looks cleaner. It's cylindrical, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the, uh, the Cobra Stitch bending and looking odd, you know, because it doesn't want to lay flat or whatever. So it just looks nice. And um, I, thought I, I thought I'd bring this up because I've never really talked about this. Um, using these for self-defense. Now you're probably wondering, Sherman, how in the world are you going to use a lanyard for self-defense? Well, you're not really, you're using the, lander, the lanyard as more of a handle. You have your keys in your pocket. Not not everybody has this much stuff on their keys. Some people have more though. Some people have less. You can use your keys as a improvised, non-lethal, too lethal, depending on how you use it, self-defense tool. Grab your keys out of your pocket. Use your uh, by your lanyard. Swing this around like it's a flail. Swing it around. Smack somebody in the face or the head with this. The neck collarbone or anywhere you wish and it's going to hurt very badly uh, at least enough to get away or distract them to draw your your main weapon maybe so many many uses for lanyards that's just one of them <laughs> anyway guys that's how to make the DNA knot very simple but fun to fun to do and it's a actually a conversation piece so Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments box, guys. All right, have a great day. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman614, peace.